Welcome back everyone. My name is Mark Braswell. I'm an artist living in Denver, Colorado. I've been working on a series of black and white paintings and drawings. Uh, in the last few of them I have been incorporating color into them more as an accent than an actual mood. So I started this uh, a few days ago and I loved the way that it came out so far. It is going to change a lot. What I did is I put it into my computer and I uh, manipulated it trying to figure out what I wanted this to look like. So I have a really good idea of what I'm going to do today. I'm going to probably in here, uh, this will all be black, I think. I'm still going to keep this linear work. I'm actually going to add a lot more to it. And then I'm going to make the black kind of go all the way to here, but just a little bit here and leave this white in here. And I kind of want to build up the white with eraser rather than just leaving it blank. Because I like the way that it looks when it's worked rather than not paid attention to. Uh, so again, sometimes people ask me what kind of charcoal I'm using here. This is, uh, can you see it? Yeah, it's called Chunky Charcoal. It's made by Create a Color. Comes in these tubes, it's pretty big, and it is incredibly black. So we're gonna see how this works on here. Uh, if you like this content, you wanna see more of it, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, I normally have videos maybe a couple times a week. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work being an artist, <laughs> trying to promote your work, trying to get it out there so people can see it, uh, you know, eventually so people can buy it. And I, I do have a really good record for selling artwork, but it's a constant social media, do this, do this. And I really, I embrace that challenge, but sometimes it's a lot. So, uh, I'm in a good mood today. I'm playing some music by my good friend, Philip Potter, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working. Let's go. I talked about this in the last videos. Sometimes people don't push it in enough. So I'm going to really work this pretty hard. It's going to be several layers of dark, so it's going to be very consistent with what I think.
Okay. So you can see how that really changes this a lot. And it's not going to get so dark that you can't see things. So, don't be worried. So here, I'm going to add a little bit more. I was just checking my reference real quick. So now we're going to come back into it with this miracle. Uh, the little pinkies. I, these are one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to put a bunch of white marks in here to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Now, since I put down all of that color, these are not coming out totally white. They're kind of orange and white. Now, look how that loosened up everything here. I'm hitting it kind of really hard and making it kind of bump like that. That way you get these kind of very small staccato lines.
of course, this is what always happens to me. It's fine. <laughs> That's as good as it's going to get. Now I just did a painting just recently where I, I put a big black line behind it and I, I like that a lot. So I think I'm just going to do a black on black. You can kind of see it in here. How it's a little bit grayer and then it's totally black here. I just need to decide how far I want it to go. Almost there for today. Okay, I'm I kind of really liking what's happening here. I think I need to re-examine this in here. I do like it. I just maybe I need to live with it for just a little bit. Uh, I was recently at a an event, it was uh, like a panel jury kind of thing, and uh, the subject matter was creativity. And I was up there, and uh, I remember the first thing that I told people, a lot of people that watch my videos here say that they're getting inspired, inspired and uh, makes them want to draw again. And I think that's great, that's awesome. <coughs> There's this excellent book, it's called Art and Fear. And my question to the panel was, uh, what's the one thing or the main thing that causes people not to be creative and not to make artwork? And the answer is fear. Fear of failure. Uh, often we make art with the expectation that it's not going to live up to our standards, it's not going to be good enough, it's not going to, people are going to hate it, people are going to make fun of me all of those things and as an artist sometimes you just have to say fuck it i'm going to make my work either you like it or you don't like it and if you don't want people to criticize you don't show your art uh, you'll never grow as an artist really without at least someone seeing it and seeing it with a different set of eyes so uh, hopefully i'm getting there on this one and please let me know what you would do would you not make it so dark? Would you get rid of something? Would you enhance something? So, uh, thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe these t uh, videos. It really helps me out, and I'm glad I'm reaching people.
So thank you, and I'll see you next time.